A fire truck given to the city of Detroit to help save lives has been sitting idle. Yeah, that's right. It was donated following the death of a little girl. Ronnie Dahl is live near Detroit's Eastern Market area. Now, Ronnie, this truck isn't in service right now? No, it is not. You know, I had actually heard that this was about to be scrapped, so I started making some phone calls. But then a spokesperson for the mayor's office told me that flat out is not true. It, in fact, is just a bad rumor. Still, the guy who donated the truck wants to know why it's been sitting in the garage for the past two years. I wanted to see it to save somebody's life. Macomb County businessman Joe Ripalone was a man with toys, including this big yellow fire truck. So in September 2011, when he heard about the tragic death of three-year-old Ivory Ivy, who died after Detroit firefighters didn't have working equipment to reach her when she became trapped in the upstairs of her family's home on Cooper Street, he knew exactly what to do with this fire truck. Let's call Detroit. They really need help. I figured if a truck could show up on a scene without water, and we have a truck that can carry water and can put out a fire and save somebody's life, I think that's the right thing to do. And that's how Joe's fire truck became a part of Detroit's fleet. It was a big day. Former Mayor Dave Bing and former Fire Commissioner Don Austin all stood proudly to accept the donation. Since then, it hasn't been on the road saving lives. It's been mostly collecting dust. If it's not being used, what do you want to happen with this truck? I want, to, I want Detroit to turn the keys back over to me. I want to find another company that's out there and let's, let's give it to somebody who'll appreciate it. I would love to sit down and talk to the donor. Highland Park's mayor wouldn't mind adding the truck to his city's fleet. We would uh, take the fire truck, but we want to make sure that we could use it, you know, before we would accept the donation. This afternoon, a spokesperson for the city of Detroit tells us the reason it hasn't been in service ever is because it would require significant repair work in order for it to meet the demands that would be placed on it. And we do not have an urgent need for another ladder truck to be added to our fleet at this time to justify the expense. Since we started making phone calls, appears the big yellow rig is going to get dusted off and pulled out of the garage. I'm told Mayor Duggan himself called Rip alone to let him know the city intends to use his generous donation for training. And so Joe tells me he's okay with the city using the fire truck for training. He just wants it to be used in some capacity, not sitting in the garage. For now, we are live in Detroit. Back to you. Yeah, I don't blame him. If you no. can donate something you want to see used, right? Absolutely. Ronnie, thank you.